Oh, I gotta activate the filter. I gotta activate the filter just in case. I know we caught some people last week, didn't we? Didn't we, guys? Yeah, we caught some people in the asshole filter last week. And that's why it's there. To catch people. Uh, before we begin, those of you who are not following us uh, us on Instagram, it's easy for me to say. Hmm. For those of you that are not following Student of the Gun on Instagram, I want, you to, I want to introduce you to a little guy. This is Brownie. You guys have heard of the elf on the shelf phenomenon, right? You have? Okay, well this is Brownie, and he's going to be the round on the town. And yes, Brownie is a live 50 BMG round. That's a 750 grain AMAX bullet on his on this little head right there. So if you follow us on uh, Student of the Guns Instagram, you will see photos of Brownie out on the town. And he's going to be hashtagged round on the town. So something you might want to be interested in looking at. How are we doing over on the uh, the YouTube camera? Are we, are we up and live now? The audio is working, but video is not. So. The audio is working, but the video is not. I don't understand that, don't but know. that's YouTube. So You guys can listen on YouTube, and then once we're done here, I'll upload the actual video. Okay. All right. Are we ready to begin then, Jared? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, I hope that everyone is signed in, and I hope that everyone has shared this with at least one person. That's what you need to do. Uh, for some reason, it's 2016. And people in my viewing audience are still afraid of serrated edge knives or serrated pocket knives. S putting a serrated edge on a utility tool or a cutting tool is not exactly a new thing. Uh, I think we probably go back hundreds of years, if not thousands, and pe people figured out that if they put a serrated edge on a cutting implement, it would be more effective. Now, having a serrated edge on a folding pocket knife such as this one right here this is the Endura from Spyderco and of course it is a 50-50 a edge part smooth part serrated uh, it's relatively new I guess relatively new meaning only about 20 or so years I got my first Delica knife and it was a fully serrated Spyderco this is a Delica it's not the serrated one and 1993 and I never carried a pocket knife that had a serrated edge at the time. So I had to learn 23 years ago how to sharpen a serrated blade. And I learned that. And here we are in 2016, and every knife company on the planet makes some form of folding pocket clip knife, right? Some type of a clip knife. This one right here is uh, the Code 4 from Cold Steel. It has studs on the handle so that you can open it one-handed. It's got the pocket clip on it. Uh, you can thank Spyderco for pushing everybody in the knife industry to do that. And once they did it, everybody got on the bandwagon. Folks, it's really not that hard to resharpen a serrated edge. There's, there's kind of a combination of mythology out there. There's the, well, I'll never own a serrated knife because they, while they might be sharp, they dull quickly and you can never get them sharp again. Or you can never resharpen one or, or whatever. Uh, that, it's really nonsense. You just need to know what you're doing. Uh, the little the implement of destruction that's in front of me right here, this is called the Spyderco Sharp Maker. Uh, when you price them, your initial thought might be, oh, that's a little bit pricey for a knife sharpener. No, this isn't a knife sharpener. This is a kit. This is a complete kit. And they've got, well, they, they used to send them out with videotapes, and they sent them out with DVDs, and... I would assume now that they have a direct download or a, uh, a streaming how to use this kit video. But with the Sharp Maker, you can essentially sharpen anything in your house that has an edge. I'm not even kidding. Needles, fish hooks, chisels, uh, toenail clippers, fingernail clippers, uh, your, uh, your wife's vegetable carrot peeler, uh, steak knives, that's got simple stuff. Uh, I literally, when I got this and I watched the, the training video on how to use it, scissors, um, I went around the house and looking for anything in the house to sharpen. Uh, I, I sharpened, like I said, the vegetable peeler that, pro that had not been sharpened since it was purchased. Uh, you can sharpen essentially anything with the sharp maker. The only thing you might not be able to sharpen, the only thing that would be difficult to sharpen would be something like this, okay? If, if you've got an axe, a machete, something big, uh, a sword, you might need 
a bigger implement. But for house knives, household knives, kitchen knives, and so forth. Now let's get back to serrated knives. Uh, everybody, every company has different style serrations. Uh, the Spyderco serrations tend to be wider. The cold steel serrations tend to be a little bit more narrow uh, to each their own. But if you're going to resharpen a serrated blade, what you need is either a rod, a sharpening rod, or a triangular shaped stone, such as these right here that come in the sharp maker. And what you're going to use is you're going to use the edge of the triangle to sharpen the knife. The great thing about the sharp maker is it holds the stones at an exact angle, at the correct angle, so you don't have to worry about screwing it up. And if you know anything about knife sharpening, maintaining a consistent angle is very, very important. So all you do is you simply hold it straight up and down and sharpen. That's it. So uh, if you have the, the knowledge and the correct tools, it's really not that hard to maintain an edge on a serrated blade. I guess the moral of the story is you don't need to be afraid of serrated edges. All right? How's that, Jared? Sound good? Yep. All right, sounds good. So like I said, cold steel serrated and spider coat serrated. This is, this is actually brand new, and it's insanely sharp. Questions, comments, concerns? Yes, no, maybe. Give him about 30 seconds to ask. Give him about 30 seconds. We've still got some people watching on YouTube, even though they can't really see your video. Uh, what do I use to sharpen the, uh, the machete? This guy right here, I'm glad you asked. The puck. It has a, a rough side and a smooth side. And when you sharpen, when you use a puck like this, you actually need to put some type of lubricant on it. Uh, it is a traditional whetstone. Uh, for these, you do not need to wet them. These are ceramic. You don't need to put lubricant on the rods. But if you're going to use a traditional whetstone, you need to put some type of lubricant on it. Guess what I put on it? Yeah, that's right, frog lube. Sometimes you got to frog lube your sword. Uh, okay, recommended spider coat knife for a first-time <clears throat> buyer? Uh... Delica Endura, pretty simple. What would I use a serrated blade for? Cutting. I don't know if he was being a smart ass or if he was serious. That was Ryan Heffer. Oh, fuck you, Ryan. Uh, Endura, Delica. Single grind on the cold steel, advantage or disadvantage? Uh, it's to each their own. I'm not going to get into knife specifics because there's so many knife geeks out there. Uh, when you when you look at it, like for instance, you see that this there's a single grind on this side. So actually, what you would do is one, two, three, take the burr off. One, two, three, take the burr off. Is ceramic good for any steel blade? Um, yeah. It comes with two sets of stones. It has the the gray traditional style. Uh, these are for more of a, of a rough. And then once you get a, a good edge on it, if you want to make that edge razor sharp, you use the ceramic stones. Like for instance, my little my little Delica right here, ceramic stones, and this thing is it's like it's scalpel sharp with a needle point. Do you recommend carrying both a smooth knife and a serrated one for jobs, one for self defense? Question mark. No, I have guns for self defense. If I get down to the knife, can you do I've, already everything gone, I've already gone through a couple of guns. <laughs> can you do everything with a serrated blade that you could do with a smooth blade? Mm. Probably not. Mm. Can you do everything with a smooth blade that you could do with a serrated blade? No. Okay. Do ceramic blades sharpen the same ceramic, as steel? Ceramic, not blades. Knife. These are ceramic sticks. Ceramic These are steel knives. knives. Ceramic blades have no experience with ceramic blades. So, sorry. I know there's some out there, kitchen knives and so on and so forth, but I don't have any experience with ceramic knives. All right. That's it? Yep. All right, kids. Uh, have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Make sure you go to, if you haven't done it already, because I don't know why,
Go to studentofthegun.com, click the big orange button, follow the directions, and you'll be informed of everything you need to know about.